over the last nine days, you all have been getting calls just like us concerning the killer clown epidemic uh, that's going around pretty much through social media. We started off in our southeast region, uh, give you a geographical area in the area of uh, Flamingo uh, 95 and now it has migrated all the way around to North Las Vegas. Um, and we've all kind of discussed in our, some of our conversation that this is widespread even as far as Canada. Uh, this is going on. Today we wanted to take the opportunity to let everybody know that we take these very serious. Um, our law enforcement partners across the county, we are all looking to every, every time there's a, a new claim or something, we are looking into it. On that note, we want to take this opportunity to remind parents that this is a good time to sit down with your students and talk about strategies. In the event that they hear information, hear credible information, give them a strategy on how to report that information to responsible adults, to law enforcement. Um, make sure that they know that there are consequences that this is not the time to play pranks at a school, to calling out things like I see clowns or uh, on their way to and from school that they've, they've seen clowns. There's a lot of resources that go into looking at these types of incidents. At this point, there's no credibility. There have been no incidents of any clowns that have chased kids, um, have battered kids, have been seen with guns. We have, kids need to know that when they're out there, when they're putting this information out and pushing this information around, it interrupts the educational day. And so we just, you know, for everybody, you know, this is time to stop, sit back, think about uh, the consequences uh, of these types of incidents.